and we've hit one uh, big event that uh, I think is going to take some of that on. And then there's another one on the road right now, and I like the name. It is named appropriately Festival of Hope uh, with Franklin Graham. Uh, of course, the Greater Birmingham Festival of Hope is this weekend. It starts tonight, and it goes tomorrow night and then Sunday. Incredible lineup along with, of course, the message from Franklin Graham. you got Kurt Franklin, Newsboys, uh, Michael W. Smith, uh, Kerry Job will be there. Uh, and the list just goes on and on and on. And, of course, messages every day from Franklin Graham, who joins us now. Uh, Reverend, welcome back to the Rick and Bubba Show. I hope you're, I hope you're doing all right. I'm doing well, and it's just great to be in town. Well, you know, the, as I said, the name is right, Festival of Hope. We've been talking about here on the show and, and been talking about where we stand as, as a country right now and a world. Uh, you know, I, I know there's been bad times in the past, but the times we're living in right now, uh, people are, are looking for hope. And uh, so the, I think the name is, is correct. So what, what will they experience uh, if they make it out to the Festival of Hope when it comes to their town, of course, Birmingham, this weekend? Well, first of all, it's, we've got uh, a, a lot of music and some great artists that have come to be with us. All seats are free. But, but I'm going to be addressing uh, the problems that our country is facing today. And the, and the problems we're facing, uh, and I know there's economic problems and, you know, we look at the political problems. But really what, what we're facing is a, is a spiritual problem in our country. And, and I think in, in Birmingham, you know, we, we live in the South where uh, uh, our faith and, and church is part of our culture. But at the same time, that you have cultural followers of, of God, but they don't have a relationship. And I want people to know that they can have a relationship with God, they can have their sins forgiven, and they can have that hope of eternal life. And, uh, you know, the Bible tells us that God loves us. We know that. But yet God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shouldn't perish but should have everlasting life. God sent his son on a rescue mission to save us from our sins. And uh, if we're willing to put our faith and trust in him, uh, we can have that hope, uh, knowing that our sins are forgiven and that we're ready to stand before a holy God. You know, you, 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 you hit it right on the head, and, and I know we've got the music, and there's some incredible, really yeah, well-known musicians that really for all age groups are there. You know, I, I didn't think I would ever look and see you, Franklin, with DJ O.P. Diggy, but, uh, <laughs> but, 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 but he will be there. And, uh, you know, and, and a lot of this music, obviously, is all different styles of worship. Each night you have a different lineup. Some of them are there every night, but some of the headliners, uh, it's a different one on, on every night, and you can get all that information. We put it right there in our show notes today for you to watch the festival. But you mentioned, so there, it's, it's just free. If you want to come, you just come. You come, and, and we've got something that's unusual that's never been here to, to Birmingham, and this is this Reykjavik Gospel uh, Company. Uh, these are Vikings from Iceland. And uh, they sing gospel music. Uh, they sing Andre Crouch's music, I think, almost as good as Andre could do it. It is incredible. But this all-Viking gospel choir from Reykjavik, uh, Iceland. So uh, we've brought them all the way from Iceland just to come to Birmingham. Right, now, I just want to be sure I heard that <laughs> I, right, because here's what I think I, I just heard you say. I must have missed this in the, in the past, <laughs> I just think so I heard you out. say when I go to the Festival of Hope <laughs> that Vikings are going to sing Andre Crouch songs. Now, that's what I thought I heard. <laughs> That, that, that's what's going on. And I'm telling you what, they are incredible. I think a Birmingham is going to be shocked how incredible this, this uh, gospel choir is. Well, I, you know, I've missed out on them, Rick. I don't know how I've, I've missed them. Now, I've got to ask, Franklin, do they still wear their horns, or have they updated the outfit? What <laughs> right. do they do? No, they're, they're pretty updated. They're, <laughs> I mean, this, is, this, is a, this is really a cool uh, group of uh, guys and gals, but uh, all the way from Iceland. And um, they, they have just an incredible gift. Uh, we were with them in Iceland a few years ago, and then we were uh, together in the Faroe Islands uh, earlier this year. Uh, wow. And when I heard them, I just said, hey, I've got to bring you guys to Birmingham. You know, uh, when looking at you now being the face of, of, of your father's ministry, and, and can you give everybody an update? How, how, how is your dad doing? You know, I was with him this past week. Uh, he's doing pretty good. He, he'll be 97 wow. uh, in November, and but his mind is still pretty sharp. Uh, you know, he, he's just old. He doesn't hear well, doesn't see. Uh, you know, he has to have help getting out of bed and 
of course, he's not able to walk anymore, but uh, he's still, uh, his mind is still with us. So we're, we're thankful for him. Yeah, take, well, what a blessing. Take, well, let's talk about, you know, when you when you live in the shadows of something. And I watched the promos for this event at my church, and they're, they're one of the 250 local churches and thousands of volunteers you have to have to make this kind of an event go. And I was watching it, and I, and I was glad to hear you say, because, you know, it's kind of the elephant in the room, that you, you talked about how that was tough to live up to, and your biggest concern was that people would, would hear you and be disappointed. Uh, but because of the of the effect uh, that your father had, the God threw him to so many people, and and uh, and you know now I, you know, I've seen you. You've got your own voice, but you, you address that that was something you had to work through. Well, it, I think um, you know in the early days I didn't want to preach because I was afraid that uh, I would disappoint people. That uh, you know they would be expecting. Uh, my father, but uh, I'm not my father. And I and I, I came to this conclusion years ago. I, I have to to please my father in heaven, and I'm thankful to God for my earthly father and my mother, uh, incredible parents. Uh, I'm so grateful to to have had had them as my parents. But I have to um, I have to be who God has made me. And my father and I we preach the same message. Uh, we preach the same gospel. Uh, our styles are different. Uh, the, the way we uh, uh, maybe sometimes approach a message is a little bit differently, but yet the, the end result is preaching the gospel, that Christ took our sins to the cross, that he died on the cross for our sins, that he was buried for our sins, that God raised him to life. And he can come into every heart, any heart, that is willing to confess their sins, to say to God, I have sinned, I'm sorry, forgive me, and I believe Jesus is your son, and I want him to come into my heart and take control of my life. If a person's willing to pray that prayer, God will hear that prayer. He'll forgive our sins. He'll cleanse our heart. And yet, in the Holy Spirit of God will come into our life and change us. And, and that's, this is the hope, that a person's life can be changed. And, uh, you know, we look at—we're uh, in a political season. We, we, we look at the wow. political landscape, and we're wanting to know who can make a change. And we will have politicians who will come and go. But the, the, the person who could change our life for eternity is not a Republican or a Democrat or a Tea Party. The person who could change our life for eternity is Almighty God and His Son, Jesus Christ. So it's not Donald Trump. Let's <laughs> be clear. <laughs> but Donald Trump is fun to watch. <laughs> yeah, it is. It well, is fun to watch. You know, and, and let's talk about, you know, if you're, let's say you're someone and you, you think, okay, I, I hear the gospel message. I've heard it. I have done that. I, I, I am. I'm in. And, but I, this event is still here, and I want to be there. Obviously, there's going to be worship. But one thing we've talked about, if this decision has already been solidified in your life, then then right now, more than ever, the people who claim the name of Jesus Christ have to step up and be called to action. And, and will that be taking place this weekend as well? Well, what I want to, I want to encourage people to bring uh, friends who, who don't know God, right. uh, to bring friends whose lives are in trouble. Uh, who, whose lives are upside down. Uh, if every Christian brought uh, someone they know that needs Christ, that's what this is all about. We're, we're not here to have a church meeting. Uh, this is an evangelistic meeting. And so we want the unsaved, the unchurched uh, to come. And so this is a great opportunity for someone to say, hey, listen, there's a lot of music. Come, let's go. It's it's free. And, and, and bring them down. And, and then as I preach, for the believers, for the church to be praying, praying for the person beside them, to the left of them, behind them, that the Holy Spirit of God would convict them of their sins and that they would receive Christ. So that, that's what the church can do. And, of course, I'm going to uh, give an opportunity for Christians to rededicate their life. There, there are a lot right. of people who have claimed Christ, right. but they're not living for him. Amen. And, uh, and uh, this is an opportunity uh, to rededicate and recommit one's life. Well, Franklin, we, we just appreciate you carrying on the legacy uh, of your father and, and doing it your own way and, and, and spreading the word, man. I tell you, you're doing a great job, and we, we appreciate it. Yeah, and as, as you know, the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association has always said, these, these events need three things, prayer, prayer, and prayer. So, That's uh, exactly right. So those of you that, uh, that you know, may not can get there or this is not the weekend that this is going to be near your city, uh, join everyone praying over that they will be, uh, you know, that the power of the gospel, as it always has and always will, will radically change lives. Pray for protection for Franklin and all those that'll be that'll be part of this, who obviously have uh, 
uh, have an enemy that comes against them, and that's part of it. And we thank you for taking time to be with us. All the details, it is three nights starting tonight. It is free. You can see the lineup for the three nights, whenever one works for you, or go to all three. You can see that in show notes. And then you can also see uh, when uh, this will be coming to a city that may be closer to you than Birmingham. But Bartow Arena, Birmingham, your starts tonight. Franklin, thanks for being with us, brother. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. God bless, guys. All right, bye. Bye bye. Uh, there he is, Franklin Graham. Uh, he'll be bringing a message uh, all three days. He laid it out exactly what it's going to be. And boy, the musicians that are going to be there, if you've never experienced Kurt Franklin leading worship, don't miss that. We're going to bring it. Carrie Joe, you know, we love her. She's fantastic. Michael W. Smith, the Newsboys, and, and many others. Get all that uh, in show notes at rickandbubba.com. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.